hello uh i'm doing an instagram live which is not like a thing that i do but i wanted to and i wanted to play around and practice and i don't know if anybody's going to tune in if you do great hello hi um i am making a face mask <laughs> so uh i did oh look look my look my writer friends hi hi look i'm pushing the button we'll see if i did that. i don't have any idea if i'm doing this right okay uh I do social media for like other people, not for myself. Um, so anyway, so I'm making a face mask. <laughs> so I posted a video like a couple minutes ago, I don't know, an hour ago. I got hyper-focused. I have no idea how long ago it was uh, about this um, overnight infusion that I made with like red clover and burdock root. And so then I had a bunch of herb matter left. So now I'm going to make a face mask because and I'm also going to make some, some bath water because <laughs> I want to. Uh, so hello welcome um so so yeah so what i have is i'm boiling two quarts of water and all of the extra herb matter that i had from my from my infusion that i did i guess i, I posted it today i actually did it yesterday i don't know where i'm gonna put this it's fine i'll put it later uh, okay so that you can see um so yeah so there's like plants in there anyway uh, <laughs> so like I had two quarts of water I'm simmering it's gonna take a while I'm doing a decoction uh, what I'm gonna do with it is combine equal parts of the decoction once it's done with this bentonite clay and I'm just gonna make a face mask um, and there's actually gonna be a lot more water than I need so I'm probably gonna take a bath with the rest of it later cuz uh, so what's in it we have burdock root and we have red clover. Um, and both of those things are really good for your skin. And I've been having some, some skin issues. So like I've been drinking them for the skin issues and now I just wanna like actually apply to said skin issues. Uh, so yeah, so I've done a mask before. Okay, let me, let me back up. I am taking a class to get certified as an herbalist. I really like plants <laughs> and I've like, Worked with them all my life, uh, but now I'm like actually like learning things about them more so than I don't know what I could do with my own research. And so one of the things I have to do <laughs> in said classes make medicines. And so this mask is like that. It's it's a plant medicine. Um, so what we have is we got burdock root and we've got red clover. And I hope I don't lose you because I'm gonna walk off the camera really quick to grab those herbs um so that you can see them uh so here we go that's burdock root and red clover okay i'm coming back here i am okay i've returned uh so this is burdock root uh, it's from this company it's called mountain rose herbs they're like i don't know a good place to buy herbs because they're like sustainable and good. It's what my teacher said I should get them from. Anyway, if I couldn't find them locally. Uh, so this is burdock root. So you're like, Liz, what's burdock? Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're like, Liz, I'm an expert. I'm just here for the, for the tea. Uh, burdock is a weed. Um, it's a plant. It gets really big. Uh, like, I can get up to like, you know, here. I don't know how big like that's three feet. I think you get up to like four feet. Anyway, uh, you've probably seen it. It's the, the, it looks like milk thistle. So it's like the big, uh, pink thistles, but the burdock, you can tell it's burdock because it's got really big leaves. Um, and you specifically use the root and the roots actually like eaten, uh, as food in lots of parts of the country or lots of parts of the world. I digress. Uh, burdock root is really great when you do an infusion of just burdock root by itself it's like turquoise in color and it's so yummy um, but then I have this incredibly large bag of <laughs> thank you this was a gift from my friend Rebecca Fabian uh, also known as Dave McLaren she wrote for a hotel um, <laughs> she's one of my critique partners a very good friend of mine uh, she knows that I'm a witch, so she bought me this shirt. Um, so here's some red clover. So like this is literally like like actual red clover, uh, but it's like the dry, it's dry. Um, 
there's not a ton of it fresh where I'm at. I'm in like Central Coast, California. Um, anyway, so red clover has a lot of benefits. I, it's um, it's it's hormone balancing, which is part of why I was wanting to do an infusion with it because um, I needed some of that good medicine. But <laughs> turns out I don't love the taste of red clover. It's sweet and grassy, but it just like, I was not vibing with it. Um, hi, Barry. Welcome. Uh, and so, so, but I have been vibing with the burdock root. And like the burdock root is, it's like one of my favorite things. It has like a really playful energy to it. It's also super grounding. It tastes really good. Burdock root's good for your gut. It's high in inulin, which is a prebiotic. Um, and it's just, there are so many good things about burdock root. But anyway, I was like, hmm, maybe I could, buy, could combine red clover with something. Uh, so like, cause one of the things we're doing in this herbalism class is we're supposed to like get to know how the herbs work in our own bodies and we're working with them and spending time with them. And so I combined the clover and the burdock root on a whim and it was, it's the tastiest thing I have had so far since, since doing this class. I posted a video about it on my TikTok and my Pinterest and also YouTube. So anyway, you can go any of those places to see it. Uh, but had a lot of plant material left over and you don't have to like get rid of it. Like, I mean, I'm gonna compost it when I'm done, but I'm doing a decoction right now. Let's see how far we are. We are at, we're down to, about one quart. So I started with two quarts of water um, and then all this herb matter. And so I'm simmering it down um, and I'm gonna combine equal parts uh, water with clay. So I need to get a container for that. I had, oh, it's right here. Look at that, I came prepared. Uh, it's, um, it's just a takeout container. So. I need, a, I need something to stir with. So I'm gonna go over here. And again, reuse. Uh, this is a chopstick. So I'm gonna grab, so I got the clay. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. Oh, oh whoops. Good thing that's a sink. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the clay here, which like a really smart person, I buried the scoop deep down inside. So this is just bentonite clay. Um, there's nothing else in it, it's just pure bentonite clay. So I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do probably like three scoops. Three scoops of the clay. Let's see, I'm gonna turn y'all over here where you can see the clay, but not all the dirty dishes lining my sink. Um, cool, so there's two and three scoops. Cool. And that scoops about a tablespoon, which I have a tablespoon around here. So, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So now I am going to go ahead and turn off the water. Whew. So we have, so we're doing a decoction. Uh, I've boiled the water down like a half. I started with two quarts of water and you're like, how much herbs did you use, Liz? Um, I, I know you were thinking this. And I used, uh, it's actually two handfuls of red clover and two tablespoons of burdock root because it's two days worth of infusions. Um, and yeah, so I like, I like, I like you guys on Instagram better. I started this on TikTok and I got some like children, uh, young boys who were trying to get me to say, like, like they were doing like Bart Simpson style jokes, like, hello, I'm a child of the 90s. I'm not gonna fall for your, oh, please say this word. You know, I will tell you what they tried to get me to say. It was gross. Uh, okay, cool. So we have this beautiful decoction here. I'm gonna show you so you can just see how, uh, how much it just looks like water <laughs> with herbs in it. Ah, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna combine it with the clay to make a mask. And I'm actually, when I'm done with that, I'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool. Um, there's sirens, I don't know if y'all can hear that. If you can, I'm sorry. Um, and then the rest of this, I'm actually gonna, um, what's the word? Steep, strain, strain, strain the water. Uh, and then I'll put the rest of the herbs into the 
compost and I'm going to use the water in the bath. So that's what we got. I'm going to stir it up. Uh, I definitely need more water than that. So it's supposed to be like one to one, but I don't like to stick the scoop into the clay. And so I just kind of add liquid as needed to get the consistency that I want. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, making a mask and it needs a lot more liquid than I, <laughs> it needs a lot more than a couple tablespoons. Hold on. Um, am I going to be impatient and just pour some of this directly into the container? You bet I am. You bet I am. Oh, it's, it's a nice, um, actually, just so you can see the color of that. Let me grab another takeout container because reuse. Uh, so you see what it looks like. So that's the, that's the decoction. Um, so we've been doing this. I've been doing this for, I don't know how long we've been doing this. I've been doing this for like 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, and we've got this color, which is interesting because, so this is herb, herbs that I reused, right? Uh, this was the overnight infusion, which is a lot more orange in color. And so this is a little bit more on the yellow side. It smells good though. Um, anyway, uh, red clover when you strain it actually looks a lot like that color when it's just the clover um <laughs> thank you thanks for tuning in uh, <laughs> i'll see you around um okay so uh what was i saying oh yeah and um, but burdock root is like a uh, turquoise and which is just so interesting to me that this is this color because you can't really see the turquoise but anyway Fun, fun, fun times here, making a mask. Um, okay, we're just gonna pour. I really thought that I was gonna need to put this in by a spoonful because when I did the uh, oat straw mask, <laughs> I started with the liquid and then just kept adding the uh, clay and I ended up with way more mask than I wanted. In fact, it's still in the fridge. I probably need to get rid of some of it because it's like, over a month and a half old. How long does this last? You might be wondering. I have no idea uh, until it smells weird. <laughs> Very scientific over here. Um, super duper scientific with our mask making. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be really curious to see how this feels. So like I said, I did the oat straw mask and that one was just, when you put it on, even when it was like, I, I the first time I used it, uh, I did that room temp, like I let it cool down, but I hadn't like actually refrigerated or anything because I wanted to use it right away. Uh, and it was um, cold. It felt really cold on my skin, even though it was like room temp. And that's, uh, oat straw is a cooling herb, so that's not really a surprise um, to me. I mean, it was, <laughs> let me backtrack. It was a surprise to me how cold it felt on my skin. But knowing that oat straw was a cooling herb, not super surprising, like, in the big picture. Uh, and both, I think red clover is a cooling herb. I know that burdock is. Um, so I'm gonna guess, I'm guessing kind of the same sort of thing from these. But you may be wondering, Liz, what skin conditions do red clover and burdock root help with? Uh, so burdock root helps with a lot of skin conditions. <laughs> um, it, it can help with eczema, it can help with psoriasis, um, acne, I have found, uh, so I get cold sores, and I first started working with burdock the like last two weeks of May, I think. And so I've been drinking it like consistently for like two weeks. Um, an overnight infusion, which like an overnight infusion of burdock root um, is one to two tablespoons per quart of water, and you let it infuse overnight. Um, that's a little bit much for me. I actually do uh, three quarters of a tablespoon, which you know, when you're getting to know herbs, you definitely want to listen to your body and, and pay attention. And like, I did that one tablespoon. I was like, oh, this is too strong. So I just added water to it um, the first time. Anyway, I digress. Um, burdock root. Yeah, so, so, uh, so I had been drinking it for like two weeks and then I got sick uh, over my birthday, which sucked. Uh, but I... Oh, you can hear my dog drinking. So if you can hear that, sorry. He's on the other side of the camera. Um, I 
get really bad cold sores when I get sick. And I mean like not just like one, like I get like a mouthful of cold sores and it's awful. And it happens every time it has since I was like 24 or 25. Um, no cold sores during the burdock root. So that, that's, anyway, so burdock for life. For me. Um, but yeah, and so I have been wanting to do a mask with burdock, but I wanted to use up my oat straw mask first. Like I said, there's a little bit left in the fridge, but not enough to actually use. I should have just tossed it last time I was using it. Uh, but then I did the, I did the clover infusion with the burdock and I was like, oh, two skin herbs. <laughs> Let's make a mask. Um, so yeah, so I have, I think, uh, overdone this. Hold on, let me give this a good mix over here. I put like too much water. That's, that looks so gross. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to take a photo of this too for my homework, for my class, making medicines. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. You can also do masks with like uh, avocado, like if you're doing something that's a little bit more cool, like if you're really going for the cooling effect, because um, this is gonna be a little bit more of a cleansing effect, which um, that's kind of one of the nice things with the clover plus burdock combo is that uh, burdock is is calming to a lot of those skin conditions, but also cleansing like with acne and stuff. But um, red clover is really cleansing for the skin. So so it's like a two on skin punch. Um, yeah, and there's a trumpet in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. We live near a military base. Um, anyway, uh, so mask, burdock root, red clover, ah, yes. So clay can be drying for your skin. So if you're like, oh, I wanna make a mask with some herbs, Liz. Um, and you're like, oh, that might be too drying for me. Like avocado is a good way to go. Um, I tend to have oily skin. So, uh, well, actually I have combination skin, but I use a lot of <laughs> moisturizers, uh, which then make my skin oily. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Um, you don't need to know about all my skin concerns. So we're doing this mask. I like to do masks more as a cleansing thing than a moisturizing thing. I think that's where I was going with that. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. And this is pretty close to done. Um, there's still a couple clumps in it, but. So I should have been mm, more paying attention to details and like, been like, oh, this is how much water we used. I was, oh, oh, but we were down to one quart. Let's see. Let's see, we are now, we're at two. I have used, I can't read, I can't, whatever, I don't know. Less than a quart of water. <laughs> uh, four tablespoons, probably eight. I'm guessing there's like a cup of water in here. We'll say that. Uh, anyway, enough water mixed with the clay. There were three scoops of the clay. Um, to get a nice uh, masky consistency. Is that, is that a word for, for things? So here we are. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop this bad boy into the fridge and let it uh, cool down for a little bit. And then I'm gonna use it and I'll probably post some info about how it went or maybe I won't and you can be like, Liz, you told us you were gonna tell us how the mask went and I'll be like, oh, it didn't go so well so I don't have to tell anybody. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's going to go great. It smells really good. Um, so yeah, that's mask making with Liz on a Saturday. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I don't know who's left. There's one person here. Who is it? Who's left? Ah, oh, Helena. Hi. <laughs> I have no idea if you're still paying attention, but if you are, thank you for staying. Um, have a great Saturday.